next round is Slice of Seven, and this week I'd like you to welcome to the Seven Day Studios none other than Kiwi legend Tamuera Morrison. <laughs> Team one, what's Tim singing about here? Nancy, we've been watching you Counting all the drugs you do <laughs> Oakley, Trek and Nike And the folks who make your bikey <laughs> Will take them away from you <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 we'll take them away from you Oh, 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 we'll take that yellow jersey too Yes, we're gonna take it all Oh, yeah, even your last ball <laughs> We'll take it away That was awesome, Tim. It's, you know, I love Tim because he and I have got so much in common. You know, we shop at the same shirt shop. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, only Tim Morrison can make cycling sound cool, guys. Lance Armstrong in there and the drugs. This is Lance Armstrong losing his lovely yellow shirt because he took drugs while he was on his bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, uh, Paul. Lance Armstrong was this week stripped of his seven Tour de France wins over doping allegations. Over the years that he was doping, Armstrong became an international superstar, earned millions of dollars and had sex with Sheryl Crow. Yes, remember, kids, drugs are bad. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of drugs are they taking? Like, not marijuana. No, but like, is it not like recreational? Is diet? it amphetamines like cocaine and? I think yeah, it's, actually, they did. <laughs> I think they did, did actually do a bit of cocaine in the early days. Strychnine, anything to kind of keep your body going through the rigors of the tour. But cocaine, do they just... cocaine, you don't actually win the Tour de France. You just act like you've won it. Just <laughs> 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 Apparently he was taking so many drugs that when he was dating Cheryl Crow, she won the Women's Tour de France. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about this, though, is the clue was there. The clue was in the title of his book, which is called It's Not About the Bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the spike. Nike has pulled out, um, and between him and Tiger Woods, I think they're seriously regretting their slogan, Just Do It. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for him, you know, because I think what happened was he... He did it once and he won the Tour de France. And then in that year, he's like, should I, should I do it again? And people expect you to win it. So he takes more drugs, he wins another Tour de France. Then there's more expectation, he takes more drugs. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> I'll tell you, a bike without any seat is a vicious cycle. <laughs> See, one of, the, one of the reasons, I suppose, that he wasn't afraid of getting caught, he, kn he knew that prison wasn't a disincentive for him. He would never go to prison, because he's been riding a bike for years. He's used to having a sore ass. I don't get it. <laughs> in, well, in no. yeah, he, got, he got raped, yeah. No, no. <laughs> he has Classic. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Team two, it is uh, your turn now, Tim. If you've got another song for us. Day 464, here I go, here I go. I need to be somewhere far away. So to small New Zealand I fly with my lady, oh my lady, in a special trip to visit Peter J. When will I, when will I get to try being king? It's been too long, when will mummy go? <laughs> And this lady by my side is so horsey, so horsey. I really should have stuck with Lady Di. <laughs> We're talking Prince Charles, someone in the royal yeah, he's family. Coming, he's coming to New Zealand and he's doing a weird sort of tour of New Zealand. I believe it's his birthday, his 64th birthday. Yeah. I'll pay that. Yes, details have been released about Prince Charles' upcoming tour of New Zealand. Uh, he'll get a sneak preview of The Hobbit and have a party with 64 New Zealanders to celebrate his 64th birthday. See, 64 people, 64th birthday. I think we all know what Camilla is planning for a special birthday present in five years' time. Don't we? <laughs> I just hope her tail doesn't come up and flick him in the face. <laughs> He's visiting Weta Workshop so they can make him some new prosthetic ears. <laughs> hey <-o! laughs> I 
was like, that's going to be a goodie. But the thing is, how do you make that? What was that noise you made? hey It's when you lose confidence in your joke halfway through. Sorry about that. So he's getting a sneak preview of The Hobbit. A lot of people don't realise he was actually a massive fan of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. He particularly liked the third movie, how it like kept looking like it was going to end and then didn't. It reminded him of his mother's life. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he can really, um, hey all. <laughs> <laughs> crap about the Prince of Wales. I'll get excited when the King of Dolphins shows up. <laughs> it's a weird play tour they're doing because they're going to fielding. <laughs> I mean, of all the places to visit in New Zealand recently, fielding would not be on my... I mean, what's next? Aramoana? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. Yeah. hi -o. <laughs> For more videos, don't answer, just subscribe to the 7 Days YouTube channel.